We had done a lot of research on the wild horse issue because the wild horse issue in the country is a big issue. I think the numbers are somewhere to the tune of about 50,000 that are in holding facilities and maybe 30,000 that are on range. And so our thought was we're going to adopt one. This is five years ago. So we said there's now 49,999 left in holding facilities. And then we went and got a second one that we actually got for our daughter. And so now there's 49,998. So we're just doing a countdown. We got a ways to go. save them. These are the last living legends and legacy of America's past. We cannot let that pass away. We need to help these horses. And we're trying to put together sponsors as well as rescues and sanctuaries that will take the horses. So it's a kind of a full-time job, but <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. Instead of buying a horse, we wanted to give horses a home that are overpopulated in a certain area, like the Devil's Garden. Well, I'm here to give a couple of horses a home, give them a chance. The breeding in this country has got to stop. You know, that's the one of the base problems. And we have so many horses in. I need a microchip number. And they need yeah. help. And adoption is the option. We've been adopting horses since 96. Uh, this makes number 55 that we have adopted, uh, my wife and I, and uh, we gentle and, and find new homes for them. And from what I understand, there's gonna be a lot more horses. So we need to get the word out to get more people out here. <laughs>